Welcome. In this video you will learn how to meet the EDGE standard. The EDGE standard requires that a project reach at least 20% less energy, water and embodied energy and materials compared to a base case building. Let's get started. First, we need to sign in or register to become a user of the free EDGE app. To get started, we need to select the building typology from the menu on the left. Let's choose Homes. We're going to design a resource-efficient apartment building in Ecuador. Now, enter the project and sub-project details. Under the Location Data section, choose the Country, City and Income category for our project. Now we'll enter our building data to begin designing our base case, such as the number of floors and the expected occupancy per unit. You will notice that the default values for space allocation appear in the middle column. Enter the relevant data for our project in the column on the right. Select whether our building will provide an AC or heating system at the time of construction. Below the Building System section, open Key Assumptions. Review and adjust the assumptions as needed. Take note that documentation will need to be provided for any changes. The cost defaults show the averages for our selected country. For accurate projections, review each cost carefully. We've now designed our base case building. Let's move on to the Energy tab to begin designing our resource-efficient building. The project's base case reflects the building's energy use before any design selections have been made. Our improved case will change once we select energy efficiency measures. As our apartment does not include AC or space heating, virtual energy reflects the eventual energy required for thermal comfort. Select energy efficiency measures and compare their costs and impacts instantly. Here, enter specific details for each measure such as the solar photovoltaics percentage of annual electricity use. Any changes made will override the suggested improved case in the name of the measure. Click on the name of the measure to learn more. From there, access the EDGE user guide for more in-depth information on the measure. After reaching at least 20% energy savings, let's move on to the Water tab. First, select Water Efficiency Measures and then enter the specific details for each measure. Certain water measures positively impact energy savings if related to the heating of water. Let's proceed to the Materials tab. This section calculates the amount of energy required in making the construction materials for the building. We're required to enter information for each materials category. Select materials from the drop-down menus. If the project has more than one material for any of the categories, use the proportion field. Next, select a material for wall insulation. This is required as we selected external wall insulation as an energy efficiency measure. To see the baseline assumptions, such as for the floor slabs, click on the name of the category. Here, alter the thickness and steel rebar as needed. Our building has met the EDGE standard and at over 40% energy savings can be certified as EDGE Advanced. 
Let's check on our incremental cost and payback period. Our results tell us that each unit costs an additional $703.76 and takes less than two years to pay back through utility savings. The projected utility cost reduction of $30 per unit is the value that can be marketed to home buyers through the EDGE certification. Once we save our project, we're ready to register for certification.